Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. It's your boy, Black Mercury here, bringing you a 19 and 2 gameplay on Asylum or Sanctuary. Whichever one you want to call it. Don't know why all those voice and fluctuations were necessary. But, you know, we're, we're just going to roll with it, guys, because I have no topic to talk about on this commentary. So, because I'm done with finals and I'm happy and I'm just overly excited to go back to my hometown, hang out with all my high school friends, even though I love my roommates and my college friends. It's got to go home. It's, it's good to go home every once in a while. And uh, sorry I haven't been posting lately. Uh, finals have been uh, kicking my ass here. And uh, I, need, I, just need, I need to get that 4.0. Maybe if I get start getting all 4.0s or all A's, my parents will eventually start paying me money. We're getting good grades. I know some of my friends, they're like, here, Johnny, you made an A? Here's 10 bucks or something. I wish my parents did that. And uh, you'll see all throughout this gameplay that there's this one guy that keeps on going back to try to get to their sniper tower to try to kill me. Uh, but th I just sit back and just pick people off with this sniper rifle. And uh, the game before this, actually, a little background story. Zach and I were playing for uh, about probably like an hour before this, and uh, we were doing we were doing pretty well. Um, but we weren't going up to our usual standards. But this game, uh, the game before this, we played a SWAT pistols game on what was it, sword base, and we did not do very well to say the least. And after this game, from uh, the rest of the night, we just we just did well. So this game was a turnaround game. I went 19 and 2. He dropped the positive 10. And then there's one other guy I think on our team. I think the other guy quit, and he did not do very well. But Zach and I just just did did everything for this team. And without Zach, I don't know where I would be in terms of Halo or maybe in life in general. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, oh 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 oh, this guy is still sitting there. That sniper. See, I'm telling you. He thinks he can just sit there with that sniper. If anyone ever sits there on the sniper tile with a sniper, you're going to get your face blown off. Either by, either not not just by me, but the other opponent's sniper. You, you got, if you're a sniper, you can't sit that sniper tower. Because, or you can, but you're just putting yourself up for, uh, to, to get sniped by, by your, by the enemy team. Or to get team shotted, because that is, that's not sniper is so exposed. Like, look at that. Uh, the way, uh, if you sit your base, if you're blue side and you sit your base, it has a great angle on the rest of the map. And if you're red side, sit your carbine because the carbine opens up the rest of the map for him. Uh, if you're blue, don't sit your carbine, or I don't. At least I sit I, my my flag because I don't know the blue carbine just kind of sucks in general. Like I'm playing a SWAT or something, I will always uh get a killing frenzy there. I'll always call out from red, red carbine, the blue carbine. Ugh, I don't know. I hate the blue side in this map. Uh, in general, but this guy, how do I hit that shot? Please, like, did you see that? I always like, I like, let my shot in front of him. Oh, there you go, Zach. Assassinate him. Yeah, you can pick up that sniper. Oh wait, you're just gonna pick it up for me. But it's okay. See, like, stuff, little stuff like that. <laughs> little stuff like Zach holding my sniper for me. Cause that's that's what we do. Uh, like if I find a noob tube, which I suck horrendously with, like I'll probably I have like probably like a point one KD with that thing. I die so often with that and get like no kills. So it's it's great playing with teammates because if if Zach's playing and I find a noob tube, I'll either point it out to him or I'll grab it and drop it for him. And if he sees a sniper, he'll do the same thing for me. I'm getting better at sniping now, now that I've had my control freaks for a while, and these guys are just playing out noobs. Zach goes, like, Zach goes, like, his first seven kills or so, Zach just has a pistol, and he's just pistol, pissing people across the map. And that guy, oh, oh, look at that lag! That guy tried to use a pistol, too, He's like, and Zach's like, hey, he's copying me! But yes, uh, finals are over, and I am happy, and hopefully I can get back on a regular schedule here. Going back to uh, what I was talking about earlier. I have a few things lined up. I'm going to do do some Pokemon online and keep on playing Halo, play some Gears of War. 
might do a few missions of the new map pack of the Gears of War. Uh, ROM's Nightmare of ROM or something to do with ROM and you can play as ROM. Uh, if you know who ROM is, he was the main bad guy in the first one. And so it's like, oh, ROM Shadow, that's it. And uh, I get all the DLCs for uh, Gears of War because I paid the 30 bucks for the season pass, which was a great idea. How did I kill that guy? Someone explain to me how I got that little, like, really glitchy shot but didn't kill that guy. Went right over his head. But, uh, yeah, this guy, he really thinks he can just kill me sitting in the, sitting the sniper. And I was so scared. I was like, Zach, come save me. Oh, wait, I have a shotgun. <laughs> so, Zach ran over there for nothing, but it, it's good. Yeah, so I'm probably going to do, like, a live dual com with, uh, or a dual com with Zach, either on a Halo gameplay or Pokemon Online. Uh, which one would you guys like to see? Pokemon Online is, I get sniped there. No, shoddy snipes. How oh, I miss you. I got to run back there now. But yeah, as you guys see, Pokemon Online, live dual com, 2v1, Zach helping me. And because I, I'm, I'm not the best at Pokemon Online. I, I, what's wrong with that guy? That guy's like lagging and I can't kill him. And thankfully that guy died. Oh, that was Zach. No, I'm sorry, Zach. Thankfully you didn't die or did die. But it's okay because you spawned behind him. But yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this commentary, guys. I should have thought of something to talk about. But, you know, another reason why I haven't been posting lately is because uh, I've been watching Blame Truth channel. Uh, if you don't know who Blame Truth is, then I really, uh, I don't really know why you found me and before you found Blame Truth. And like I said earlier about the sniper, Zach's like, hey, I found a sniper, let's go, let's go switch. But if you don't know who Blame Truth is, he's one of the uh, original uh, gaming YouTube channels. Uh, for Call of Duty and for everything in general, and uh, he's going through what you could say are paranormal activities, or if there were paranormal activities. Now there's people stalking him, and uh, everyone's kind of concerned about Blame Truth. Uh, no one really knows if it's true or false or real or not. Uh, it has you know some parts that look really true and some parts that just look uh, like it could be fake. So no one really knows. But, it, uh, but a lot of people are doing analysis videos, and it's really interesting. Fake or not, uh, Blame Truth's little series he's got going on here is really entertaining. And it kind of follows the storyline of Marble Hornets in a little, in a little bit, uh, a little similarly, similarly fashion. So go check out those two stuff, Marble Hornets and uh, Blame Truth's channel, because uh, what's going on there is actually really interesting. That's... What I did a lot last night before I went on and played Halo, I watched all 52 installments of uh, Marble Hornets, and it's kind of sad and embarrassing to say that. But uh, this gameplay is wrapping up here, guys, in the next uh, 10 seconds or so. So comment, subscribe, like the video, tell me if you want to see a dual com with Zach on Pokemon Online or Halo or both. And I will talk to you later, guys. It's been Black Mercury, your boy.